Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of my how-to series. Today we will be talking about NVIDIA RTX Voice. So what is NVIDIA RTX Voice? NVIDIA RTX Voice allows you to remove noise that is in the background of your microphone and uh, make your voice sound a lot more clearer. Now how does this work? It uses the tensor cores on your RTX GPU to do this and so-called AI, artificial intelligence. And today we will be looking into how to set this up with Discord and uh, how to make use of this cool new technology um, that they have brought out. Now, if you want a demo of this, um, you can do that or watch that in, with a link in the description below. Uh, Barnacles has a good uh, demo of it and uh, some other YouTubers as well that made great videos on this. I'll be mainly focusing on how to install this for Discord. Now all the links for on how to install this are within the description below. Okay, so to install this, you basically download the installer from the link I've provided and run it. And once you've done that, you should have an icon on your desktop uh, saying NVIDIA RTX Voice. Now, uh, RTX Voice only works with RTX GPUs, but there is a workaround currently that you can use and uh, you can try doing that. Um, I will post that in the description as well. I think it's by Guru3D or something like that. Um, and I've got a good guide for that. Now, you basically open RTX Voice and as you can see, there's your input device. So you select which input device you would usually use. So your microphone, over me it's called con uh, condensated microphone, Rode AI1. And um, what you have to do is uh, enable remove background noise from my microphone. And you can set up how much noise suppression there is supposed to be. So you can toggle it in the percent. And you can even uh, toggle noise suppression for uh, your output device so you can rem remove the background noise from an output and um, once you've done that you're basically all set here you can close the software and it will keep on running in the background and you can see it as a tray icon on uh, the right hand side of your screen now you can go into discord and you can uh, go into your settings and within the settings, you go to voice and video. And in voice and video, you have your input device and your output device. Now make sure to set your input device to RTX voice. Now it will use the noise suppression by NVIDIA. And if you want your output device to be set, up, set through RTX voice as well, you can do that by selecting speakers RTX voice. But that's not definitely necessary. Uh, that's mostly if you want to put both your input and your output through uh, RTX Voice. For example, a benefit on using uh, RTX Voice in Discord could be if your friend has a very noisy microphone and very uh, noisy background, you can enable the voice suppression with an RTX Voice and that will allow you to uh, listen to their voice with a less uh, annoying uh, background noise. This will, however, impact your uh, game sounds and also all other sounds on your computer since they will be filtered out through RTX voice. So make sure you're only using the noise suppression for that when it's really necessary. Now, once that is done, your voice should basically go through RTX voice. We can check if it works by going into having mic issues and clicking let's check. So this is a test of RTX voice. So this is a bit buggy um, because, or at least for me it is, because <laughs> I hear my voice twice and it's a bit annoying with a delay. But basically this is what it sounds like. Uh, if it doesn't sound good, you can always toggle how much percent of your voice is actually removed with using noise suppression. You can also toggle it off using the check mark and you can also toggle it on or off for your output device for the reasons previously mentioned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you understand how RTX voice works better and how to set it up with Discord. If you've liked this video, leave a thumbs up 
And if you didn't like it, leave it anyway. <laughs> um, no, you're free to do whatever you want. Um, if you want to see more videos on Discord and also RTX voice or um, voice stuff, make sure to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next one.